Moving quickly so as not to be last, the children of Aleppo tear apart a school they used to attend. The school had been closed and then was partially shattered by an airstrike. Most of these children haven't had classes for many months. Now it is December. The city is cloaked in dampness and chill. These desks are becoming firewood so that these former students' families might have a night's worth of heat. This is C.J. Chivers for the New York Times. Aleppo, ancient and once bustling, is Syria's largest city. Since the summer, when rebels in the army streamed into its neighborhood and locked up in battle, it has been the scene of sustained and pitched fighting. Many neighborhoods have been rubbled. Others are occupied by one side or the other. Random shells fall. Necessities are in short supply. The violence has been random and ceaseless. The army makes sure what it leaves behind is of no use. The city's people are wearied and often embittered, living off whatever they can while winter descends. Many of those still inside the city are poor, unable to afford cooking gas, which now costs 12 times what it did. Bakeries have hundreds of people waiting for a meager supply. Falling ordinance chases residents inside, but families must send people out to bread lines each day to wait for food, usually for hours. Some have moved past impatience to open anger. These residents, who waited in line but received no bread, demonstrate against the Free Syrian Army, as many rebels call themselves. With anger building at both Western and Arab countries for not helping, outsiders are often unwelcome. On the front lines, the Free Syrian Army fights a street-by-street -street battle against the Loyalist Army. The snipers loom on either side. In places, the forces are less than 75 yards apart. The lines can be stagnant. The front has been divided into sectors and zones. Men like Abu Jura have become expert at moving from one sector to the next, ducking through mouse holes, dashing where he must. He has been at the front for months. Before the war, he had no experience with violence, no expectation that he would live this chapter of his life, an armed guerrilla on his own streets. The rebels have been winning the city, bit by bit as the army contracts. But where the soldiers remain, often they are strong. They have heavier weapons and air support. No one knows how long it will be before the army decides to leave Aleppo entirely, or before the last base is overrun. At night, fighters and families use wood that they've gathered during the day. Many are homeless. Afraid of staying in areas that are regularly shelled, they move into industrial zones or partially built housing blocks. This family doesn't have a home to go back to. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
اما اكل كذا من هون من هون النام ما, ما في خالص الحمد لله امنا اليوم لبكره فراج ورحمه هذا النهار الليل يعني نموت ولا نطيب ما بنعرف 